Denver Water cleans and purifies its water at its treatment plants before sending the water to its customers. Each plant has several buildings for each step in the treatment process. Coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Here's what happens inside the coagulation building. There are tiny particles of sediment in the water that have a negative surface charge. When these particles get close, they repel each other just like magnets when you bring the same poles together. By adding positively charged coagulants to the water, a chemical reaction happens that neutralizes the negatively charged particles. A mixing process blends everything and the particles begin to join together. These clumps of particles are called flock. The water then moves to the flocculation building. During the flocculation process, we add substances called polymers to the water. The polymers bind together with the flock to create larger chains of flock. The clumps flow through spinning paddles that help speed up the mixing process, and the flock clumps continue to get larger. In the next step, water moves to the sedimentation building. During the sedimentation process, the heavy flock particles start at the top of the tank, then gravity causes them to fall to the bottom. As the flock piles up, a scraper moves across the bottom and removes the sludge. The water is much cleaner now, with just a small amount of particles left to remove. The next step in the treatment process happens in the filtration building. The filtration tanks contain a layer of anthracite coal and a layer of sand. These are known as filter media. As the water works its way down the filter, any remaining particles of sediment get caught in between the cracks of the coal and the sand. The clear water passes through the filter media and exits through pipes at the bottom of the tank. Now that all the sediment has been removed, the water moves to the disinfection process. In this tank, we add disinfectants, such as chlorine, to the water. The clean water flows through a series of baffles to mix thoroughly with the disinfectants. The disinfectants attack any bacteria that may be in the water and destroys it. This process also protects the water as it moves through pipes in the city. The water is then stored in the finished water tanks. The tanks are enclosed and the water meets all state and federal drinking water regulations. From here, the water is sent out to Denver Water customers.